Have you ever wondered what the oceans were like before whales dominated the seas? Prepare to be astonished by a creature that would have made even the largest whales seem small in comparison. Over 200 million years ago, during the Triassic period, a colossal marine reptile ruled the waves, Shonosaurus, the largest aquatic predator of its time. This incredible animal could grow up to 70 feet long, longer than a tractor trailer truck, and weigh an astonishing 80 tons, surpassing the mass of a space shuttle. Shonosaurus was a true titan of the ancient oceans, and its story is one of the most captivating in the history of life on Earth. In 1920, a bizarre find in the last place you'd expect. The mountains of Nevada, far from any ocean. Colossal petrified bones were eroding out of the sun-baked rock, hinting at an animal of unbelievable size from an era long before humans. It would take another 56 years for paleontologists to finally excavate and identify these astonishing remains. In 1976, they announced Shonisaurus popularis, a new species of enormous ichthyosaur, to the world. So what was Shonosaurus exactly? Picture a dolphin-shaped marine reptile with four flippers, a pointy snout, and a powerful fin tail. Now scale it up to the size of a five-story building, and you've got a rough idea. Early estimates based on partial skeletons pegged Shonosaurus popularis at a whopping 50 feet long and 25 tons. That's about the length of a humpback whale and the weight of three T-Rexes. But incredibly, an even more mind-blowing species of Shonosaurus was waiting to be unearthed. Can you imagine stumbling upon a discovery that would rewrite the history books? In 2004, just across the border in British Columbia, a groundbreaking find emerged that left paleontologists utterly astounded. Picture this, a colossal ichthyosaur skeleton, so immense that it made the previously discovered Shonosaurus in Nevada seem small in comparison. How gigantic was this newfound behemoth? Named Shonosaurus sicaniensis, this titan stretched an incredible 70 feet from snout to tail, surpassing the height of Italy's famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. But what about its mass? The estimates are almost too staggering to comprehend. Experts suggest that Shonosaurus sicaniensis could have weighed up to a mind-boggling 80 tons. Let that sink in for a moment. Not only did this make it the largest ichthyosaur ever discovered, but it also claimed the title of the heaviest marine reptile in Earth's history. How did it compare to other legendary giants like Mosasaurus and Megalodon, the biggest shark to ever roam the oceans? Astonishingly, Shonosaurus sicaniensis outclassed them all, firmly establishing itself as the unrivaled ruler of the prehistoric seas. As you might imagine, Shonosaurus sicaniensis' incredible size raised some eyebrows and taxonomic questions. Some studies in the 2000s argued its distinctive jaw shape made it a different genus, Shastasaurus, but a landmark 2021 study laid the matter to rest. This 80-ton juggernaut could only be the king of Shonosaurus. The superlative size of Shonosaurus hints at a truly gargantuan ichthyosaur fauna in the Triassic. Just recently, paleontologists discovered a single massive tooth in the Swiss Alps even bigger than any known from S. sicaniensis. Could it belong to an average-sized ichthyosaur with terrifying tusks, or a yet undiscovered titan that would dwarf even Shonosaurus. Tantalizing clues point to the latter, raising the astounding possibility of 100 plus ton marine reptiles. So what was it like to be a Shonosaurus, the uncontested leviathan of Triassic seas? Surprisingly, for the largest aquatic predator of its time, Shonosaurus may have been a bit of a slowpoke. Its massive barrel-shaped body, lack of a stabilizing dorsal fin, and downturned shark-like tail paint a picture of an animal built more for cruising than chasing. But what Shonosaurus lacked in speed, it made up for in diving prowess. That deep, broad torso was perfectly adapted for withstanding the pressure and cold of the deep ocean, letting Shonosaurus hold its breath for hours while hunting at depths that would crush or asphyxiate lesser swimmers. We know it frequented deeper offshore waters thanks to the rock formations its fossils occur in. What could drive a colossal reptile as large as a bus and built for endurance to specialize in hunting within the dark, mysterious depths of the midnight zone. For years, the prevailing theory among paleontologists was that Shonosaurus used its immense size to its advantage, vacuuming up entire schools of soft-bodied prey like a gigantic toothless plankton eater. The supporting evidence? Some adult Shonosaurus specimens appeared to lack teeth, suggesting a filter-feeding lifestyle. 
Moreover, fossilized feces attributed to these ancient giants contained remnants of belemnites, extinct cephalopods that were the Triassic equivalents of modern-day squid and cuttlefish. But could there be more to the story of Shonosaurus dietary habits than meets the eye? But a few researchers have recently proposed a much more menacing mealtime for Shonosaurus. Telltale tooth sockets in the jaws of some fossils suggest it sported robust, deeply rooted choppers instead of bare gums. Juveniles and possibly some adults still kept their pearly whites too. And perhaps most convincingly, virtually every other ichthyosaur species we know of were active predators that seized and sliced their prey. Why should the most massive one be any different? Could it be that the gentle giant image of Shonosaurus was all wrong? Picture this instead, a gigantic Triassic terror, longer than a locomotive and many times heavier, rushing up from the depths to tear into schools of fish, squid, and even other ichthyosaurs with big blade-like teeth. Still a specialized hunter picking off smaller prey with surprising agility, but one that gulped and gored its victims down whole. The evidence is provocative, if not yet conclusive. But in the constant push and pull of paleontological progress, today's docile filter feeder may be tomorrow's macro-predatory monster. Equally alien to us is the world Shonosaurus inhabited. Rewind the clock 230 million years to the Triassic period. Most of Earth's land is mashed into the supercontinent of Pangaea, surrounded by an immense world ocean called Panthalassa. The rocks entombing Shonosaurus in Nevada and British Columbia once formed the seafloor just offshore western Pangaea. Bathwater warm seas thanks to a hothouse climate, higher coasts carving unfamiliar shapes into the continents, vast island chains spanning the horizon instead of ice caps. The Triassic Earth almost defies imagination compared to our modern globe. Imagine diving into the Triassic seas and witnessing an underwater world teeming with creatures that seem to defy reality. In this alien aquatic realm, Shonosaurus swam alongside a mesmerizing array of prehistoric companions. Ammonites, the spiral-shelled ancestors of modern nautiluses, glided gracefully through the water, their iridescent shells more dazzling than any contemporary cephalopod. Darting past were improbably lizard-like fish, their scaly armor glinting in the filtered sunlight. Plesiosaurs, with their elongated necks and paddle-like limbs, cruised the ancient seas, hunting for their next meal. Phytosaurs, fearsome crocodile-like reptiles with razor-sharp teeth, patrolled the waters, ready to snap up unsuspecting prey. Primitive sharks and ancient swamp-dwelling fish pursued their quarry, adapted to thrive in a world vastly different from our own. In this Triassic seascape, the familiar sight of porpoises and tuna was nowhere to be found, replaced by an awe-inspiring cast of creatures that challenge our understanding of life in Earth's distant past. Tooth scars and broken bones in Shonosaurus fossils bear witness to the hazards of Triassic living. Even for the ultimate apex predator, fights with other carnivores risked lethal lacerations, spine-swelling infections crippled even the unassailable. And for an air-dependent diver, the threat of drowning in rough seas was never more than a wave away. Giant size was no guarantee of an easy life. Yet Shonosaurus unquestionably reigned supreme in its slice of space and time as unchallenged in its dominance as blue whales are today. For 10 million years or more, 60-foot ichthyosaurs ghosted through the tropical shallows and epic abyssal plains of western Pangaea, enduring as a dynasty of Triassic titans. But ultimately, even the most eternal-seeming empires come to an end. As Panthalassa gave way to the fragmenting continents and new oceans of the Jurassic 200 million years ago, Shonosaurus vanished abruptly from the fossil record yielding its throne to the next set of giants. Whether it succumbed to rapid climate change, ecosystem disruption, or competition from newly evolved rivals is a mystery paleontologists are still seeking to solve. The scattered bones of Shonosaurus are all that remain of its astounding age, forever fixing in stone the memory of a world where reptiles, not mammals, explored the uttermost possibilities of ocean gigantism. A 70-foot, 80-ton ichthyosaur seems scarcely believable, more like a fantastic figment or fisherman's fable than a flesh-and-blood animal. But that's the magic of paleontology, the never-ending capacity of evolution's experiments to exceed our wildest what-if wonderings about the limits of life. The next time you find yourself dreaming up the most colossal creature to ever exist, consider the awe-inspiring Shonosaurus, 
a real-life leviathan that surpasses even the most fantastical sea monsters of myth and legend. Can you imagine a marine reptile of such extraordinary proportions, reigning supreme in the Earth's oceans long before whales ever existed? It's a humbling reminder that our planet has been home to amazing giants for countless millennia, long before humans walked the Earth. These awe-inspiring titans are not mere flukes of nature, but rather an enduring testament to the incredible resilience and adaptability of life on our ever-changing world. So as you ponder the mysteries of the ancient seas, remember Shonosaurus, a true legend as timeless and profound as the tides themselves.